Hello everybody, happy Sunday. Patty Tolly Parrish here with inkyobsessions.blogspot.com. Um, I thought I'd do just a quick, ha, ah, I know, in quotes, quick video today. I was killing some time indoors, um, watching some YouTube videos, and I ran across the one from Jelly Arts where they demoed the gel resist technique. And I just thought I was going to come down and play with it, so I thought I'd run the video and, you know, see what happens. Um, hopefully you guys have seen that. It's a really cool technique. Um, I'll see what I can do with it to try to mimic that technique. It looked really cool. Um, but it's just too flippin' hot. We're outside of Baltimore, Maryland. It's about, I don't know, 90-something in the shade with 100% humidity, and there's no shade. I can't stand it with the hot flashes I have. Oh my God, I can't. I used to be always outside, always on the water, under the water, diving, swimming, boating. Can't do it anymore. So I'm down here playing in my nice cool basement. So, oh, one thing I wanted to mention was banner day. Actually, it was last week, but I've been away. I just got back from my last traveling trip for work, I hope for a while from Canada last uh, Thursday night late. Um, and I got my first happy mail. This was from um, Pat Walker. She's in Wisconsin. And she saw on one of my videos where I mentioned how much I like Tim Holtz scissors, um, these little jobbies, and wish that they made a smaller detail pair. And bless her heart, she sent me a pair of her favorite detail scissors, the um, honeybee little scissor with the little sheath on it. And I've used them, and they are awesome, Pat. Thank you so much. And she also threw in a couple of these alcohol, um, the alcohol ink Adirondack fillable pens with the two tips on them, which I only had one, so this is a great addition to my stash. Um, and I really appreciate it so much. That was very kind of you. Um, so, I'll be using those soon and have already used the scissors. So, thank you, Pat. Um, now, uh, let's see. Let's get started, shall we? So, I grabbed a, a stash of some music sheets that I bought in a packet when I was at um, Art and Soul in Virginia Beach. They have a vendor's night, and they had a couple people there selling packets of uh, music sheets that were all of these. I don't know if you can see that, plus all of these for like five bucks. So I thought, ah, what the heck, I love music sheets. So that's what we're going to play on, and that gave me the idea on the uh, Jelly Arts video that that's what they started with. So let's uh, let's just dive right in, shall we? Ooh, this looks a little funky. Hang on, I'm going to tap. Yeah, that didn't do too much. <laughs> okay, so basically, all you do is apply a little bit... I don't want to go crazy with this stuff like I normally do with paint. And roll it out on your jelly plate. And apply a stencil. So I just grabbed one of my faves, my eye stencil 3D. Um, we'll see what this does with the 3D thing on here. So put this down over this. Music sheet over this. And you're going to lift a print that you won't really see unless you hold it at the right angle because the gel medium is clear. I know you're saying, what the hell are you doing? What's the point? You shall see the magic. Hopefully. <laughs> if you don't see the magic here, go to the Jelly Arts video and watch that one because it is indeed magical paper love fun. So... Well, I can s barely see that. I don't know if you guys will see that or not. Can you see that? I don't know what that bright glare is you're getting off of that because nothing is that bright yellow that's here. Damn lights. Not sure what's going on there. But anyway, and we'll take one and we will try to pick up the reverse of that and see what we get. How about that? So they used, the demo that they did, they used uh, the um, Tim Holtz Distress Stains, and they said they were really worked well for that, so I'm going to try those. But I'm also going to try a couple other things. Um, 
I have my, my Distress Spray Inks out here. We'll play with some of those. And I also brought out the Distress Paints. And I don't really think that's going to work. <laughs> but you know how I like my fails as much as my successes. So we'll, we'll give it a go. So let me pull this up. The point's clean. So yes, I do have that on there. And again, I doubt you can see that. No. Yeah, doesn't matter. You're going to have to trust me on this one. Going to have to trust the old girl. Okay, I'm going to move this to reveal my Teflon sheet. I'm going to put a little bit of lid on this because Lord knows how long this is going to take me to figure out. So here's my first one with my 3D dots. They are pretty dry. You know what? I'm going to hit this just a second. Pardon the roar of my heat gun. Just to make sure this is dry. That ought to do it. And pardon my reach. Ugh, paper towels out of my reach. Um... Let me get this ready. They said they use a damp paper towel. So let me spray a little water on that baby. Okay, everything's ready. Let's see what we can do here. This one's tumbled glass. They just kind of did a rainbow effect. And of course, it's not even open yet. <laughs> Good for me. Bad for short video. <laughs> well, not that it's that much of a shock to you. Oh my, they do have these hermetically sealed, don't they? Sweet mama. Good Lord, that would survive a nuclear blast. I don't know, what do we have here? Peacock feathers. Ooh, I love peacock feathers. That one's sealed too, so we won't worry about those. Okay, we'll just mess with these for now. So, that's all they do. They just get this going and they just brush it on here. You can see it's starting to resist those dots now. And kind of blend it a little bit. Got another color in there. That was the picked raspberry. Let's do this ripe persimmon. And tumble glass. Why not? Ooh, not even used yet. That's the one I just opened. Hello. Ooh, getting a little too much mixing over here and going a little brown on me, but what the heck. Not the end of the world. And then they took the damp paper towel. Oops, I probably should have stayed within my color. Ah. Lesson learned. Don't do that at home. Oh, cool. It does work. Look at that. See the resist in there in my 3D little dotsies? Cool. All right, let's do... Is this my side? Yeah. Pop this with the dryer a little bit. Let's do one in, uh, oh my, this one's not open either. Oh, maybe I'll use my little honeybee scissors. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, don't forget, tonight's the super moon. Now, I don't know if the super moon is supposed to be visible from everywhere. I guess it would be. It's everybody's moon, right? It's supposed to be a super moon tonight. I would love to be out in my brother's boat with him tonight to see that. Because I love watching stars and moons and sunsets. I swear I'm going to run my car in a ditch one day looking at a pretty sunset. Okay, I'm thinking this grass, silver, whatever this is, pewter. Might not be dark enough for this. So let's switch her up. Let's go to fired brick. Ooh. Got a lot of that coming out of there. Uh, 
Ooh, I lost my camera. There it is. Oh, and another one. <laughs> another little prep time. Wouldn't have killed me, huh? Come on. I don't want that to soak too long in that paper. Become one with my music sheet. What was this? Oh, my vintage photo. I love that. It's my favorite ink pad. I don't think this color combo is something that I would have done on purpose, but then again, here we are winning it by the seat of my pants as per usual. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to try to stay within each separate color this time. Oops! <laughs> Until my last swipe. Um, and you can see this, but I'm not sure this is the best pattern to use. And actually, I think I have the Stencil Girl stencil that they used in the demo. So let's let's try that, shall we? Come on, work with the supplies. I know my little my little stash of these are only some of them. Hey, uh, hey, I know. Twelve step program. Here I come. They're all jelly plated up, real good and sticky and pretty. Oh my. I wish I had the smarts to invent. Here it is. This is the one that they used in the demo. So we'll go with that. That gives you a lot of the paper still showing through with the color. And the jelly, uh, the je matte gel resist. Um, I mean, sorry, the ink only goes where those, where the pattern is, where the stencil was, right? Did that confuse you or did you follow me? So since the resist is the gel and the gel is going to come off on the paper, and all these bigger negative spots, the only thing that's going to color with these are going to be the, the lines of the stencil itself where it's protected and there's no gel medium that ends up on the paper. I kind of confused myself on that one. So let's try something else. Let's try, let's try that again, shall we? Get a couple of pieces of, oops, hello, of music here. And, all right, give her another go. Good Lord, note to self, clean that lid sometime. Nice, even, thin coat of the gel medium, and I'm sure you could use matte or gloss or whatever. I don't think it would be brand to brand. I think would probably work because it all kind of does the same thing. Right? And okay, then we're back on I'm lifting down on up the plate. The gel medium I applied through the stencil onto the music sheet. Kind of threw me off. My sister-in-law stopped and asked me about she's going to run to the grocery store see if we needed anything. She lives with us part-time while she's working a job up here and moved to Delaware. Um, so there's that pull and I'm going to also do the reverse again because now this one will, oh, there's a writing all over this. I guess they belong to a music teacher. Let's pull up that and now if you can see on the plate, right? Just like it's paint, there's a pattern of the of exactly what was under the stencil. So let's lift that as well. So watch how I pull these off. Oh, and just as I speak, it's like I'm psychic or something. <laughs> there we go. And that one's just got those little rings on it. The same pattern as this. Let's put this to the side. Let's try to dry this one a little bit. I think my gel coat 
may have been a little thicker than was on the demo. I know that's a shocker. I always think more is better. In some cases it is. Okay. It feels dry. All right, let's give her another try. This time I'm going to go Peacock Broken. Trying to get this in line so I don't hose up too much stuff with my um, color choices and the blending. All right, let's do this one in all the blues. Start with Peacock Feathers. Oh, I can see those rings popping out of there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not yet. See that design? Try that. Oh, don't you know this one's closed too. Mm. Well, it's good to know. I got a lot of new stains I've never used. You need me, hon? My hubs just walked downstairs. that and a little bit of tumble glass for another shade of blue this one I think is almost the tumble glass I think might be too late too light colored sorry for this technique like that silver was that didn't work so great on the last one the paper towel which knife the razor knife yeah. I haven't had it did you guys open, use it to open up? Um, you're walking into frame, just in case you don't know. Here, oh, here, here, here. Try this one. You want this? No, why can't you see? Because they're really good scissors. They're my Tim Holtz scissors. Okay, damp paper towel. Wiping this off. Oh, I can't keep it in my head to go with the pattern. wet this a little bit more and see if more of this color will pick up here. Oh yeah, it does actually. Oh, Mojo and Babe will be happy. Their daddy's filling up their food. In case you heard that earthquake in the background. Okay, so that wet paper towel really does do the trick. And look how pretty this is. <laughs> I'm liking that. So, can you see that? See what I mean with this lighter color? It doesn't really, um, doesn't really grab it that much. It's there, but it's really, really subtle. So let's try this one. That one feels dry. Let's do the reds on this one. Mix it up a little bit. Oops, hello. He's trying to pour a 50 pound bag of food into their container that we keep upstairs. Mojo's eating it as it pours. <laughs> Mojo, what are you doing? What are you doing, pretty boy? Okay, wet my little paper towel. Wipe this off. Turn it to get the orange. Turn it to try to find a spot for the pink. It's there. It's very subtle. Can you see that? Let me try to wet another one. See if it picks up any more of that. It's not coming off of the resist part as much on this one. Maybe it's not as, as wet as it should be. Have to play with that, I guess, and get the right feel of how that works. Let's try this. That's actually taking a little bit more of it up. You can see a little bit more of the uh, of the pattern. 
but these these pages are fragile so it's really tricky with how much you can uh, you know that you can get them wet not really made for mixed media so I have um, a couple different pieces of paper here I was going to try as well these I got from Dick Blick when I was there um, in Chicago so this one these are kind of thin though this one not so sure about that but I'm gonna give it a go let's see I'm gonna look for a different stencil oh yeah yeah stencils are a little on the heavy side let's try this one that's one of my favorites Julie Fafan balls are from Crafters Workshop. And oh, CHA Summer ought to be coming up soon. So there will be plenty of new Crafters Workshop stencils coming out, I'm sure. And then there are a few trailers track. I think that's in July. I think it's January in the winter in July. I don't know. What the hell do I know? Okay. Let's give her another go. Mush it on the plate. Lay down my stencil. Some of this paint may come off. I have no idea. I love this pattern now. It's one of my faves. Let's try this. I'm not sure at all how this is going to work. I know if I had any sense at all, I would have tried that before I go on camera. <laughs> but I think it's good to know the good with the bad. Maybe it'll save you some supplies. <laughs> I'll show you what to do and what not to do at home. Okay, let's try that. And let's, this one might be just too absorbent for this whole deal. Okay, we'll give it, we'll, we'll see. What's the worst that can happen? All right, don't answer that one. Good Lord, if you'd see me on screen right now, you'd be trying to adjust your color. Having a hot flash from hell. Whew, I'm about 500 degrees right now. God, it's so miserable. I don't know if any, anybody else is my age, but has that... Uh, has that issue to deal with. Lord of mercy. I can go from perfectly comfortable to about 400 degrees in five seconds or less. And it is not pretty when you get there, let me tell you. And sitting outside at a humid, hot cookout. Oh, as much as that's like one of my favorite things to do is do that stuff. Can't handle it. Can't handle it anymore. It's if I do, it ain't pretty. I'm trying to find my little pattern here so I don't waste too much ink. All right, this could be a total fail because these both of these papers are really absorbent. Ah, what the hell? Let's dive right in there, shall we? Oh, yeah. Tune in and watch me throw away supplies on my experimentation. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to do this whole sheet because I think this was probably not the way to go. Let me try this. I see it very, very faintly, but... Okay, kids, save your money. Do not try this at home on this delicious kind of beautiful paper. She ain't going to work. Yeah, it's just too, it's really frail, and it's like a rice kind of paper almost. Um, yeah, and look, see how it's soaked all the way through? Oh, here's what it is. 
It's called Ancient Text Black and White. Save yourself. Don't follow me. This one, good Lord, can I even see where it, what side it's on? I don't know what side I put down. It must be this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I got me an idea. Let's use dilutions on this one because even if it doesn't work for what I'm trying to do, oh, my favorites, um, it will, oh, uh, sorry, I know, squirrel trying to do two things at once, God forbid. I know I have a pink one that's open. Hold that thought. I um, know I'm never, I'm never short of at least two of these on hand at all times. God forbid I ran out when I needed it. But these blend so pretty. These three colors, the dilutions. I know you guys know that these are right. These are the three I go to so many times. They're Diane Reevely's Dilution Ink Sprays. And this is Vibrant Turquoise, Lemon Zest, and Bubblegum Pink. And they are really super pigmented. And uh, they're, they're, they're the most beautiful colors. But when they blend, they make the prettiest purple with these two. The prettiest coral orangey with these two. And really cool limey kind of green with this. So if all else fails, I'll have a colored sheet of paper. Hang on. Hold that thought. That looks like. I got one in my stash here that my friend Donna Walsh showed me what she does to this kind of paper. And there's one that we did. I just lo I love it so much I haven't even touched it to use it. But those are the three colors I used. And these are all the blends I got out of it. I mean, all this turquoise into this purple with the pink, into the oranges where I blend the yellow and the green. Ho <laughs> oh, Tell me that's not yummy. That's the back side, but that's the front. And that's very much the same kind of paper as this. Here's another one that I did just did with the greens down into yellows on a different kind of paper. And I think, what did I do there? Oh, I think I had a um, uh, one of the Lindy Stamp Gang's dabbers in gold, like, you know, one of these bottles with the dabbers on it, and just kind of went pow, pow, pow all over it and let it splatter. So you can see... A little bit of gold shimmer, but that's what I did to those. So if all else fails, I'll have more of that. And how bad can that be? <laughs> so let's give her a go, shall we? I should have a piece. You know what? I'll just use paper towels for my overspray. I usually have big sheets of newsprint that I'll lay down when I use my sprays, which I don't have right now, but we'll use paper towels instead just because they're here and they're quick all right here we go let's try this where the hell my spray oh here it is <laughs> oh people i'm telling you you have no idea how difficult it is to be me you take this label off this one's called lace it's lace paper and it's called stonehenge is the pattern here we go do this. Let's do some pink to get some purple in there. Oh, hello. I know I haven't used you for a little while. There we go. Look at that purple come up with that blend right there. <laughs> oh, mama. And let's just hit some yellow across the bottom of this and we'll get some. Come on. These usually spray really well, but since my jelly plate and frenzy, I haven't actually used them that often. And I do miss you. There we go. Oh, what do you know? Two lemon zest. There we go. Okay. And, well, I was right in one regard. 
that whole gel medium thing. Not working on this kind of paper. But this is what I get instead. And you can't hate that. But this is weird. These green little flecks showing up everywhere. It must have been overspray that just spread here and here. But that's kind of cool. I hope that, let me try to hold it still. It's still really wet. Um, and let you see how vibrant those colors are. If you haven't tried any Diane Reevely stuff, you got to do it. And her journal that she makes, her Dilutions journal, the paper in there really is just made for these sprays. The sprays love her papers. So I'm going to put this here to dry. So that was a success on Cool Pretty Paper. A fail on the, uh, the gel technique. But you know, some days you eat the bear, some days the bear eats you. Not too worried about it. It's a piece of paper. You know what I mean? Ooh, and look at all these pretties. Hello, my little pretties. So, um, I'm going to try, just because I'm hard-headed and I want to have an idea, I want her to work. So let's do a piece of the music paper. Get my jelly plate back here. Um, a little bit of this on the plate. Oh Lord, it's smushed, smutsing up when it's drying. I know it can wash off, but it's my brand new knife I got while I was in Chicago too with the mothership. Dick Blick. Oh, did you guys know that Utrecht um, is being pulled under the Dick Blick company name? And a lot of the Utrecht stores, if you go to one, will they will either be, so I'm told from the mothership when I was there, they will either be closing or they will be rebranded into Dick Blick stores. So hopefully they won't close so many and they'll rebrand any stores that may be near you. Um, but yeah, if you have any kind of, I think they're going to honor coupons and memberships and so forth through Dick Blick. But um, yeah, I went to both stores when I was in Chicago and both of them told me the same thing, the, Chicago, the Utrecht and the Dick Blick. So I guess we'll be seeing that happen soon. I'm going to try this one again. Just because I'm just that hard-headed to do it again. Let's try this. So oh, this one's torn. That's okay. Gives it character. <laughs> try to really pick some of this up on here. And even this old paper is kind of absorbent. I don't know if maybe that would be more something like a if you could use them in some of the glossy like stamping paper maybe with sprays um I mean, I can see that why is that I don't know if my actually seeing this looks like bright gold on that page with that light and that's not what it is at all that's going to be a problem yep I don't know what to do with these lights. They're the same lights as I always had. I'm just sitting at a different angle when I revamped the old studio. Um, get off of there. So I have a different uh, setup. And the lights are hanging a little bit off center of my desk. But I'm so much more workable this way. I put some pictures up on the web. You guys probably saw them. Okay, and that's the back side of that. And there's not that much on that paper. So, let's go back to this one. I'm going to hit this just a second with the gun. Not to do her. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that mix. 
I used to sit for hours and just spray these things and watch them mix on papers, which I love to do. So you know what I'm going to do for this, because I think it should be blotted more than wiped. And I don't know why, but I just think that it should. We're going to blot. Blot first, maybe wipe later. I need to make some more inky folders for work. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, yummo. That's not a bad thing right there. Let's take, this is kind of wet. Let's see what happens when we wet this. And try to lift more of that. Not much coming off of there. Well, it does sort of work. Um, you can definitely see the pattern in there. I kind of like that. Let me move it a little bit closer. You can see some of the overspray areas where it wasn't as thick. It's kind of splotchy, but it, it really adds a lot of texture to it. So, I'm not going to call that one a total fail. Let's see what happens here to the one on the back. The reverse pattern is what I meant to say. I don't ever know. Who knows what I mean to say? <laughs> what else do we have in here? You know, I'm just going to keep using these. They're out. They're open. Let's start with yellow in the middle. And let's go on one side with the pink. And on one side with the blue. Oops. Getting low on the turquoise. Put some more yellow in the middle here. This paper sucks it up pretty good. And why not? Let's just make a total mess. I don't know how you can call it a mess, though, actually. I like it. Shall we use this one? We shall. Oh, now I'm happy. I'm starting to have smurfy fingers. I love you. Oh, this looks cool. Even though it looks like a mishmash of, I don't know what. It's a cool mishmash. Yeah, this doesn't come up much when we're wiping it. But there are definitely some swirls of that reverse pattern in there. There you go. You see that a little bit? And yummy colors. See if that'll focus. Focusing, or are you back to taking more Dramamine? Okay, so there you go. I don't know what that showed you. It probably showed you more what not to do, but you know, what the heck. So this is what we ended up with. Both of those. Kind of liking those, actually. <laughs> Don't do this at home. These were a little bit better. You can see the blue pattern uh, a little bit more than this one because, as you can see, where the, pa where the um, paint went on the paper showing was the, the rings on this one, and it was showing on everything else on this one, and the rings were the only resist. So you can see the difference in what that pattern will do with those two. And then here's the 3D little number that we started with. You see the dots resisted on this one. And on this one, the dots were inked because that was the reverse of the stencil. You dig? You dig. Okay. Well, I'm not feeling so great today, gang. So I think I'm going to wrap it up with this. Probably a record breaker short video. Just saying. But I'm going to let these dry. I'm going to use those in something. And I tr oh, and I did try um, using that one of those sheets that I made of the jelly tape and a journal page. Mm, didn't really like it. Um, I think I even put it away. But I tried that last night, and I don't think it was any fault of the tape. I just, uh, I've been really exhausted and not feeling that great. And I just think I didn't have any mojo when I forced myself to come down here to try something. Um... So, um, 
that's what I'm going to blame it on. But I will try it again, and I am going to try to use some of those strips somehow on cards. And I even thought about, you know, if I had a clear glass little votive to take one of those jelly tape strips and wrap it on the outside decoupage it that would you know when you had the candle inside of it that might look kind of cool illuminating through that i don't know i get these wild ideas running through my little head oh and don't forget my my uh total fail on the the matte gel medium technique but then i have this and how can you call that a total fail see what i'm saying is that focused? Uh, God, I'm going to have to take Dramamine and wear a seat belt. <laughs> anyway, there you go. That's what we got today. Short video. Try to do more this week for you guys. Um, and Pat, thanks again for my goodies. Loving the scissors. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe see you outside one day if it drops under 90. Until then... I'm going to be here. Talk to you later. Bye.